This reaction is brought to you by my lovely $5 or more patrons at patreon.com slash alexheights. I'd like to thank Manchester Pictures, Identitech, Steve Aldersley, Anthony Coleman, David Dockery, Kurt David, Aubrey Coper, Joe Brown, Mason Frost, Thomas Amos, Matthew McLaughlin, Andreas Glacel, and Biff C. for sponsoring this video, supporting the channel, the Patreon, me and my family. I appreciate it highly. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I just considered doing like a fake opening where I'm like, hey everyone, how's it going? It's your boy Alex here again. And I just thought about doing that and I just kind of got a little depressed in my head. And I was like, you know what? No, I'm leaving it in. I'm leaving in my depressed looking face. <laughs> Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Hope you're all well. Uh, we, are, we are just right smack dab in the middle. Are we in the middle? Yeah, we're kind of in the middle of our alternating stereo lab Led Zeppelin binge. I know it's really bizarre, but we're this is how we're doing it. Um, yeah, so we've done the first two stereo lab albums, and now we are on to Mars Odaic Aud Is that right? Quintet. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna call it that. We got this this nice you know funky fresh uh, album cover with like the synthesizer on it. Looks pretty nice. So uh, this came out in '94. It's considered space age pop. I don't quite know what that means, but that sounds great. If it's anything like Telstar by the Tornadoes, I'm on board. But probably not gonna be quite like that. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, pe pe where people say that like they're really starting to come into their own. Like the next three albums are like the the trilogy or the trio of some of their best work or their most well known. Um, so I'm very intrigued. I loved the second album. First album was okay. It was interesting, but kind of forgettable. Um, second album had a lot of great moments on it. It wasn't perfect, but it was really solid. Uh, so I'm very eager to see what this one is like. Um, if they're kind of going more into their electronic or post-rock uh, angles. Um, I'm all on board. It is 66 minutes though. So I am just going to start trucking forward. We're going to get through this thing. Um, we have 15 tracks. Let's go. 3D Melody. Very simple, very straightforward. I think what I'm gonna do with this album is I'm gonna take it as like a more progressive type of music, like a post-rock album, um, rather than take it as a pop album. Because I think that was kind of my mistake with Stereo Lab from the beginning, and I sort of shed that a little bit on Transient, um, especially how some tracks were obviously more post-rock influenced, or kraut rock, I guess you could say. Um, I'm going to try to do the same here where I'm like, if pop moments come out and I get that really, you know, pop uh, enjoyment and sensibility out of it, then good. But aside from that, I'll kind of take it very broad strokes. I'm not going to be looking for any like pop music here until it shows its face. I think that's the correct way to go. Um, and as post-rock song or as a more kraut rock influenced kind of progressive thing, that was a good track. As a pop song, that was boring. You see? You figure it out. All right, so uh, good. Next track, Wow and Flutter.
This is kind of like um, a sort of a mix between Pang and Transient in terms of uh, structure, where it's like there was an immediacy to a lot of the tracks on Transient. They were more rock oriented. Um, this is a little, a little more subtle, a little softer, um, and it kind of plays on that sort of krautrock, post-rock sort of sentiment that some of Pang had, um, where it's like you're taking a few small elements and just kind of running with them for most of the runtime. And it kind of is a groove and it sets the tone and that's what you're locking into. Um, good. I'm, I'm liking it so far. I don't know if I like it as much as Transient yet, um, but it might just be kind of like a whiplash, you know, a shock shifting into a new a new style or a new evolution of the band. So let's keep trucking. Transona 5. Yeah, I'm taking this just kind of like very background, um, just vibing with it. Because of that, I might not have a whole lot to say, I fear. But because um, like some of this is running together, but I think that's kind of the point. Um, it's it's as it's not as varied as Transient was. It's more kind of groove based um, like Peng was, but it sounds as good as Transient did. So we're kind of getting like Peng, but post transient you know and i'm okay with that that day 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 at trois electronics I like the like lounge music aspect to this music as well. And I imagine that uh, maybe things like dots and loops will kind of be in that same vein too. Um, but it's almost this like easy listening vibe. I got in trouble one time for calling dots and loops elevator music. <laughs> not that it's a bad thing. Elevator music is underrated. It's, it's nice. I don't know. I dig it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I dig that vibe. It's uh, It sets a nice tone. I don't see why they would call this Space Age Pop, at least so far. But we've only, we still have 11 tracks to go, so let's see. Ping Pong. Legit. Definitely a more poppy one, but it, it fit it fit with the vibe of the previous ones as well. Just a nice little 
breath breath of uh just uplifting bouncy fun i'm good with words um anamorphos Well, the first half of that track was a little monotonous. <laughs> it, I mean, it didn't go much of anywhere, which is fine, but the repeating lyrics, like repeating lyrics can get really just like, I think that's why Die Happy was one of my least favorites off of the new Sufjan record, because I was just like, I'm so tired of the same line over and over and over. Um, but that was that saxophone at the end, some kind of a brass. Um, that was nice wish that would have been throughout more of the song like there's certain melodies where i can just kind of listen to it like in a cycle and i don't really get tired of it because it's a nice just it has a good um a good end point that leads back to the beginning and it's like you're going through an arc of a melody and that's a good example of one where i listen to it i'm just like i can i could listen to that on on you know repeat for a while and there are you know songs out there where it's like this certain part of this song but looped for like 10 hours um the the uh, tracks like that do exist but yeah last half of that was pretty solid um first half a little monotonous three longers later Cool little, like, upbeat. It was a little bit rockier. Um, I dug that one, actually. I like that. Nice little change of pace. Adds a little bit of variety to it. Nihilist Assault Group. Now there's a title. That one had really cool bouncy bass. That definitely took the spotlight for a little while. Uh, again, another solid one. Um, this Nothing's really standing out as like an individual track so far, except for maybe like ping pong. Um, so I'm trying to 
like I said, I think the correct thing to do was to sort of take this album as like a one cohesive listen kind of a thing because the tracks are kind of blending together in a good way. Um, but on that same token, I'm not able to kind of distinguish one track from the next um, because it is a long album. There's a lot of tracks. So let's keep going. International Coloring Contest. I, I like uh, the some of the more low-key ones like that. Very kind of, like I said, the more easy listening vibe. Um, some of these songs, when they start with like the, you know, like, like the guitar, I'm just like, like, you did this on Transient, do something different now. And so ones like that, I'm just like, ooh, yeah. I forget which one, was it track three or four? can't remember now the one I had made the comment on where it just kind of sounds you know loungy um I I dig that side of them it's uh I don't know I, I kind of grapple back and forth between which side I like more like the more rocky post-rock thing or the more you know electronic lounge easy listening stuff um sometimes they clash in unfortunate ways and the tones don't quite match up um but usually they they meld together pretty well. So yeah, I like that last one. The stars are destination. Simple, bouncy tune, kind of short, fine, nothing crazy to say about it. Transport sans, I'm going to say bougie, bougie, that means transportation without movement. Oh, did I get that right? I went, I, we honeymooned in Paris, so I was in France for like five days. I, I barely know any French, but here we go. That's a fine track. I think I got it right. Bouget, is that right? So, so far, I think, like, my main... I wouldn't say issue, but thing that I'm still kind of grappling with is that there's still remnants of transient here when I wasn't really expecting it. Um, of, of the first two albums, actually. Like I said, this is kind of like elements of both mixed together. Um... 
I don't necessarily so far like love this one more than Transient, but um, it is different enough that I I am kind of grappling with it to f- figure out quite how I feel, and I don't want to like say too much right now that might not be correct, like even you know an hour from now. Um, that last little bit right there with the synth, like I kind of wish there was more stuff like that, but instead we're still getting that kind of just like consistent uh dynamic that consistent energy throughout a song and it's it's very groove based you lock into that um but i i would like to see just a little bit of variety on here like maybe more synth stuff um maybe that's why some of the more easy listening lounge tracks are kind of getting to me more than some of these rockier ones uh because i hear the rockier ones i'm just like i feel like transient did that better I don't know. That's kind of how I feel right now. But we still have several tracks to go. Uh, four, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not even going to try. I'm going to try. Let's just go. Okay, um, these last three have been falling a little flat for me. Um, I mean, I was vibing pretty good, like tracks one through nine, but 10, 11, 12 have kind of felt a little flat to me. And I don't want that to like color the way I feel about the whole album, but it is kind of long, so it's like messing with my head a little bit. So let's keep trucking forward. Keep trucking forward. They're fine tracks. They're just not some of my favorite, and they sound a little too close to transient to feel like they're much different, I suppose. Um, Outer Accelerator. I like that one actually. That was a uh, the little like guitar melody, do 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 do. Um, kind of gave it enough of like a personality to like you know let it run its course. It wasn't too long, and then that last bit at the end was kind of a cool little outro. You know, variety. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, okay, two tracks left, everyone. New ortho- orthophony.
I like that one. I I think my my problem is it's just the like I said these songs that start with like you know the the guitar chords um, the more let's they sound like the rockier songs on Transient. Um, I'm just kind of like not, not tired of them, but it's like some of the moments on this album that are different from that I really like. And I just wish this album was more of that and less of those kind of tracks from Transient. I don't know if that's me being like picky for no good reason or if it's even messing with the flow of the album all that much. I don't know. I'm still trying to like grapple with that. I quite don't quite know how I feel about that. Um, but yeah, this, this last track I, I, I dug. Um, I like the, the tone that it set. Fiery Yellow, final track. There it is. It's done. Uh, had Sean O'Hagan on it, who's an Irish guy. Does the marimba on there? Kind of felt like a weird, like tacked-on oddball track. Um, but I dug it. I kind of like it. It was a little, little repetitive and didn't go anywhere beyond like the first minute or two. But uh, I dug the the vibe. You know, like I said, like more of that kind of stuff. So Mars Audiac. Quintet. It's good. It's good. Um, obviously, it's longer than Transient. Or no, actually, it's quite close in, in length. Transient is 62 minutes. I didn't realize Transient with that. Oh, with, with Jenny on the line, of course it is. Um, but this just had more tracks. Uh, there was a seven-minute one, a five-minute one, uh, almost seven-minute one as well. Another five minute one. So yeah, there were a few long tracks on here, but it was more just quant quantity rather than length of the tracks. Um, do I like it more than Transient? I really don't know. Probably not. Um, this is probably just below it. Uh, it's still miles better than Peng, in my opinion. Um, it just it has it has a few speed bumps for me, especially tracks ten through twelve. Um, that was kind of a lull for me, but, um, like I said, I can't remember if it's track three or four, the loungier one. Um, I dug that ping pong was cool. Uh, anamorphos. That was interesting. Three longers later, nihilist assault group, international coloring contest. Those were cool. Um, and then these last three weren't, weren't bad as well. Uh, I want to spend a little more, bit more time with it. Um, ironically, kind of like with Led Zeppelin three, the third album from, this artist I'm kind of grappling with and it's not necessarily as much of like a whiplash or shock thing um like I had with Led Zeppelin 3 where I'm just like what is this music um not that it was drastically different but with this it's more of like an expectations thing uh I went in kind of in a certain direction and kind of got like uh flanked I guess you could say so I I'm not going to say that I think it's worse than transient yet i feel that way right now but that might change um this was an album i wasn't quite sure how to process i think i got close to how i should have been listening to it which was more background um but even still there were some rockier tracks that kind of catch catch your attention just enough to where like you pay attention to it um, and it doesn't work as a background track, but then when you pay attention to it, there isn't enough detail to really keep your interest. So those are kind of the tracks that sort of fall through the cracks for me as far as like enjoyability. Um, yeah, this was cool. This was cool. Not what I expected, but it was cool. Uh, so yeah, that's that next tr album from Stereo Lab will be Emperor Tomato Ketchup. Um, 
don't really know much about that one, but that's the that's the joy of doing these artists is you find new things and it's all exciting and all that jazz. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Um, I do follow ups to these reactions about a week to two weeks after I listen. So if you guys want to hear my thoughts on this album, finally, after all the dust has settled, uh, be sure to subscribe. If you're into it, hit the bell and uh, you can keep an eye out for that video when it comes. Um, also, patreon.com slash Alex Heights. Every three to five albums, we'll do a poll album where I'll have people on my Discord, also link in the description, uh, community-driven kind of pick four albums, and then people uh, who are my patrons, dollar a month is all you need to be able to do it, is uh, they can vote in these polls of these four albums picked by the community. Um, and they're usually like one-offs, like uh, a band that only has one great album or only has one album, or like a, a sampler to be like, hey, maybe you should try this band, but I'm not sure if I should. And then like, I'll do an album and be like, okay, I'll do that band. Um, although now it's all community driven, so who knows what it's gonna be. So uh, that'll actually be the next one that I do uh, after this video. I'm taking uh, about like a week off, which is what I do with my poll albums and uh, just letting people vote for a while on that. So check that out uh, in the Discord, also link in the description. We got, uh, we're nearing the end of our album cover bracket elimination tournament and uh, it's getting pretty dicey, but it's fun. We do a lot of discussion over there, post memes, great old time. So check that stuff out. Uh, that is all I have for you guys. I hope you're all doing well and I will catch you in my next video. Fare thee well.